Hello, my name is Greg McGee. I am an artist and I want you to be an artist too. Now, although culture is in quarantine, creativity continues. So, it's Christmas, we have to get arty. You're gonna pick up a pencil, you're gonna pick up a black pen, and we're all gonna create some great Christmas, happy, healthy scenes. Now that might include, you might be inside, you might be outside with Santa and the snowman, you might be with your family. Yay! You, you might be with your friends. Either way, this artwork is gonna be awesome. Let's go. We are going to go with Christmas cartoon characters. The happier your Christmas is, the cleaner the world is outside and vice versa. Now, Christmas is a great way to remember all of the people who work so hard to keep the areas we live in so tidy. So let's draw a Christmas free of trash, a littlest Christmas. You can draw Santa keeping the place clean or you can just draw Robin enjoying a natural sparkling world. Either way, this is going to be the cleanest Christmas yet. Let's go. Dring houses in Woodthorpe is a beautiful part of York. The people of this area obviously take great care of the place. Here are some drawings of Santa himself making a trip to York using the cleanliness of Dring houses and Woodthorpe as an inspiration. Whether you're a beaver, cub, scout, thanks for the art Dring houses scouts, or whether you go to Dring houses primary or Woodthorpe primary school, or you're a member of the youth group of St. Edward the Confessor, the slogans hope, bravery and trust have never looked so beautiful. A clean world is the best world and Christmases are best when the world outside is healthy for everyone. You can draw whatever happy healthy Christmas scene you want. I'm going to kick off with Santa. Here we go. The best thing to do with features is to just break them down into simple shapes. Start with the eyes. The eyes look like half of an egg with a black crescent inside. Then draw the eyebrows, nice and simple for a smiley face. The ear is like half of a love heart with a question mark inside with no dot on the bottom and a little squiggle inside. And there's the nose and the moustache and a chubby little Santa cheek in the shape of a moon with a little dimple at the end. And the hair kind of looks like the leaves of a Christmas tree but then because it's Santa it's covered by a hat. Or we might be going for Mrs. Claus or a girl playing in the snow or an angel. The general tradition in cartoons is that if the character is a girl, you can feminise her with some eyelashes and make the hair a bit longer maybe. With this kind of cartoon, the hair can look like the leaves on a Christmas tree because it's Christmas. Now that's the face done, now it's time for the figure. The figure's a lot easier than you think. It's bigger than the head and the limbs bend and the claws that are wrapped around the limbs wrinkle and wobble. So the lines that you, do, uh, you draw need to wrinkle and wobble too. Come over and have a look. So here we go. Now, like I say, limbs bend, claws wrinkle and crease. Just make sure the arm has two lines. One, two, it's strong enough to carry something and the leg is strong enough to carry the body placed on top of it. The angel is similar. Arms bend. Here they are bending in prayer. A trick with angels is, uh, in fact, everything that has wings. The feather that is furthest away from the body is the biggest. <laughs> um, so we've got the face done, we've got the figure done. Now we're gonna get the flesh tone done. It's a lot easier than you think. You pick up an orange, you go really lightly over the, where the face is, and then you get the red and you go even more light, more slow, more sensitive. If your character is of a different ethnicity, get the brown and go a little bit darker where the skin is. This is gonna look awesome. Be prepared, let's go. I want you to imagine the surface of the paper is too hot for the tip of the pencil, so you are just gently coloring in all in one direction. Then you get the red and you go slightly red over the orange that you've already done. Maybe a little darker over where the cheeks are. And then you get your finger and you smudge into it. That's how you blend the flesh tone. Here's the angel. If you want it to be a bit darker, you do the same orange and then red and then just a bit of brown on top. The skin, you might go for, you know, you might want to be drawn Baby Yoda's skin or the fur of a reindeer or the snowy skin of a snowman. The rules still apply. Slow, 
and sensitive. So I've got the red colours and I'm going to very sensitively colour in the limbs and the body. There's absolutely no need to damage the surface of the paper. And where the outlines are, you can go just a little bit darker with a similar colour. So I've got darker red around the outlines, just to give it a bit of heft, a bit of 3D swagger. It's the same with the angel. We're going for pale blue around the edges, but a touch of darker blue to give it some depth. If you colour in slowly, with the strokes going in the same direction, you are in complete control all of the time. Now I'm really enjoying this. Colour is always better when it's sensitive, but this is the final secret. Once you've got the pencil done and the colour done, you can pick up the black pen and you go carefully around the outlines. Get the black ink done after you've got the colour on because if you try and smudge the drawing and it's got black ink on it, the ink will spread and muddy up your colours. It just won't look as good as it should do. You can do the same for the angel. Draw it, colour it in softly and then get the black outline on. Add speech bubbles. You just draw the shape of an egg like this and then you leave a gap for a lightning flash and the lightning flash goes to the mouth of the person who is speaking. So there you go, hopefully you can create Christmas too. You've already inspired my family. Credit must go to the young people of Dringhouses and Woodthorpe and the Cubs, Beavers and Scouts of York for keeping their areas clean and inspiring for the rest of us. There's so much to choose from for Christmas ideas to draw. Robins are great, start with the eyes, and the feather that is furthest away from the body is the longest feather. Or there's Holly. Draw the berries first and then join the spikes with a curling line that goes back to where it started. Your pride in your area makes for a beautiful world where nature sparkles. A little tip, don't just leave snowmen and icicles and snowdrifts white. Smudge a little blue into it to, to suggest the cold. The world of Christmas is kept alive by people who take pride in their area. You, that is. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. This project is building on collaborations from last month. We projected the artwork from the youth group of St. Edward the Confessor and the Art of Dringhouses Scouts, all digitally, all for two gleaming weeks. I really enjoyed that. We can't wait to see the artwork that you people are going to send in. If you do angels, send them in. Bar Convent will show them in their windows. If you do anything wintry, anything Christmassy, so long as it's happy and healthy, we're going to project it digitally. We're going to show it in our art gallery. It's going to be awesome. Thank you so much for being creative and happy and healthy. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.